troopers cracking down on speeders at toll booths. A new campaign to save lives in the wake of a worker's death. WBZ's Kate Merrill is live for us at the Alston Brighton Tolls tonight. Kate? Paula, you know the speed limit at the tolls in the pike is just 15 miles per hour, but people mostly drive double than that, and that can be deadly, especially for the troopers who are there. It is not the sight any driver wants to see, but if you use the mass pike, there is a crackdown going on right now. He said he caught me at 25, and the limit is 15. Massachusetts State Police and the Department of Transportation are on a mission. Just to remind people, just to slow down. But this is not a speed trap. They say this is a campaign to save lives. From police to signs, the message is everywhere. Uh, the danger is to the toll collectors who are walking uh, in between them at, at certain times. In the memory of toll worker Bill Pappas, who was killed this summer as he worked the tolls in Auburn, they are trying to remind drivers that speed kills at the tolls too. The speed limit here at this toll booth at the airport is 15 miles an hour, but what they're finding is most people here go at least 30. I didn't realize it was 15. I mean, that's a little crazily slow. Most drivers admit to us they don't really think about toll speed and safety. I didn't even know there was a speeding limit going through there, so technically I guess I agree with the campaign because people should know and it's ignorance that might have gotten somebody killed. And that's why the troopers are here, flagging down dozens of drivers, not to make money, they say, but to make an impression. People are pretty positive. They just don't realize it's 15. Um, so when we do tell them that, they're a little bit surprised. We just remind them just to try to pay attention to the uh, posted signs and uh, just have a little conversation with them. And back now live, you can see those signs are up at all those ticket booths tonight. They are giving out ticket citations and warnings, hundreds of them so far. But most cases, they are going easy on the drivers, simply trying to get the message out. Live in Boston, Kate Merrill, WBC News. Liam, Paula, back to you.